This video was made, created by me ZS0020 Prime Leader of the Defenders and Master of the Sky Base. I am also known as ZS Prime, ZS0020 underscore Prime, and Sylveon Prime, and nobody has any permission to use my, this video without my permission or authorization. This music was made, created by me ZS0020 Prime Leader of the Defenders and Master of the Sky Base. I am also known as ZS Prime. ZS0020 underscore Nobody has any permission to use my this music without my permission or authorization. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And I wish today was a fun video, but no. It's not gonna be a fun video today. I received my Animal Crossing amiibo card. I ordered the the Robin one, the, the bird one. What I got was, I got some weird cow character instead of what I ordered. I already started the return process and I already affixed the return label. Now, according to these instructions, it says... To ensure that there is no other tracking labels attached to your package, if you are shipping a non-horizontal item, completely remove any cover hazards, okay, blah, blah, blah. A fixed mailing label se uh, separately onto the address side, covering any previous address and barcode without overlapping any adjacent side. Okay. If your package fits in the mailbox or postal box, deposit your package... Deposit your package for your postal carrier to pick up. If your package does not fit, bring it to the post office. To find your local post, uh, your your local post office USPS collection box. Okay, so according to this, it says I can put it right into my mailbox since it's shipped by USPS. Okay, and that's exactly what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually going to. I'm making this video as proof that one, I received the wrong item. In fact, I can open this up here again and take a look. Give me a moment. So here is the shipping details of what was supposed to be delivered. Of course, I'm not going to show my address because uh, security reasons. But here is what was supposed to be delivered. Robin Nintendo Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer Series for Amiibo card for uh, 400. SKU number and the other number and condition new and order number. And here's what I arrived. This card comes free to give you a free extra card. And instead of Robin, I got this. Character number 398. And this is character number 445. Completely not what I ordered. This is not what I ordered. I already uh, contacted Amazon. I asked them for a replacement because I actually want my Robin card. Not whatever that, uh, not this. So, I'm not particularly happy about that. Now, I'm going to put this back all into the package and seal it up again. I just thought I'd take it out so that way people can see that I'm not, uh, that I'm not bullshitting that these, fucker, uh, th these fuckers, for some damn reason, did not deliver what they were supposed to deliver. And I'm not happy because this is just ridiculous. These people charged me an extra, like, altogether, 
with the uh, this this amiibo card only costs a few cents on the website, but with the shipping charges, it, it, it went it, it boosted it all the way up to sixty dollars. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to. I have to tape this thing back up now, and I'm going to put it into my. Uh, mail slot and hopefully apologies ladies and gentlemen if you're hearing tape noises I'm trying to currently reseal this thing so that way I can put it into my mailbox without problems and hopefully the mail guy can just pick it up and give it back. Now these guys are all the way in uh, San Lorenzo which is not too far away from where I live. I live in Dublin, California. San Lorenzo is literally in the San Leandro area. Literally like less than 30, minute, 30 minutes away from here. So I'm not sure if it'll end up there by today since it's USPS. So hopefully they'll get it by tomorrow or something like that and I can get my item as soon as possible. Okay, there. It looks like I sealed it up as best as I can. That should be... There we go. That should be nice. That should be nice and sealed here. And it says no postage is necessary, so... And once again, I'm going to show the instructions where it says... That if my package fits into the uh, um, a mailbox, deposit your packet your package for your postal carrier to pick up. And that's exactly what I'm going to do since I don't have the luxury of going to any local post office. And this and let this video show as evidence, so that way, in case if there's any doubt. Now, give me a moment. I need to put my jacket on. I gotta grab my keys. Not gonna get pretty far without those. And the heck, everything just fell. Okay. Now let me grab my shoes here. And I'm gonna show myself going all the way down to the post office to, well, not the post office, but to the mail room to drop this off. Because this thing should be small enough to fit into the box. And I do apologize for the noises, they're leaf blowing the area. Once again, I apologize for the loud noises. They're at least blowing that area over there. Now oh, I gotta make my way. Oh. 
Now I gotta make my way all the way down. There, I'm putting this into the full frame. And you have to stick it right here. This is supposed to be the US outgoing mail. There, it's in the slot. Now all I have to do is play the waiting game. And now I'm going to just make my way back to my apartment. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize if this video is rather long, but just in case, I may have to use this video as evidence to make sure to prove that I did return the item because this is, this is just absurd. There's absolutely no reason why they should have sent me the, the wrong item. I don't, I don't get it. And I double checked that item is still available on the Amazon list on the Amazon listing by the way. And this wasn't sold by like some third party person. This was it's on the top of the thing it said the it says the it says the Nintendo store, but then it says some sort of other thing, so not sure. And once again, I apologize for the loud noises. There are leaf blowing out here and it's loud. Okay. Made it back in. Of course, gotta do that. Gotta put my keys back where they belong. And I might as well take off this this thing. Okay. Now give me here a moment. Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. I need to clean up this. I'm going to keep this paper to prove that they actually told me to stick the damn thing into the... Hey, Luna. Into the mailbox, which is exactly what I did. Well, let me just put this away. No, no. no. Actually, that needs to go up there. And, uh, okay, this I'll keep over here. This can be placed over there. Okay, and now let me sit down and uh, plug my phone back in. Bear with me. I have to reach for my plug because it fell over there. Also, I'm plugging it in because I know that as soon as I start processing this video, it's going to eat up my battery. Okay, stand by here. The video may freeze or something when I'm plugging this in. Okay, if it didn't freeze, it didn't. If it did, it did. So, there, so let me uh, turn this camera around. So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Proof that I received the incorrect uh, uh, item. I ordered a Robin Amiibo and I got some weird uh, cow Amiibo instead. And some weird dog Amiibo, but I think that's just an extra Amiibo they include. 
So now let this video serve as proof that I did return it. I dropped it in the mailbox because it's being sent by USPS exactly like I was instructed on that piece of paper. So now I just have to play the waiting game and hopefully they can uh, and hopefully they uh, they'll uh ship me the correct item otherwise if they mess up again I'm just going to have to get my money back and find this bloody amiibo es uh, elsewhere because this is ridiculous. And I've tried looking elsewhere for this thing, and this is the only place where it's available, so I, I don't understand. I've ordered from this particular, from this particular, like, store, because it's like, a, it's, it's on Amazon, but it's like a store thing. Basically, I ordered from this particular listing before with my previous amiibos, and they came normally. I don't know what the heck was up with this one. Maybe this was just an honest mistake. I don't know. All I know is I did my due diligence. I return. Uh, I returned uh, the item. Let me just minimize this and let me reopen my Amazon stuff here. Okay, now I gotta go back into my account because this stupid thing reloaded. Okay, let me. Here it says right here replacement ordered. Your replacement has been ordered. And that's the original item that I ordered and didn't receive. So I did order the replacement. I did, uh. Returned, and I just have to. And here I can view the return status. Okay, return requested, and here's the replacement order. Okay. So, I did my due diligence to, uh, I did what I was supposed to do here. I ordered a replacement, and hopefully I can get it without any bullshit. So, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I did order the replacement item. Since I'm gonna chalk it up to an honest mistake because I've ordered from these particular, uh, from that same particular uh, company that's on Amazon, uh, or it's fulfilled by Amazon, but it's sold by 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 this seller. So I ordered from them before, and there was no problems with the previous order. I think this was just an honest oversight or a mistake. Not sure, even though I'm not happy about it. I'm still going to chalk it up to an honest mistake since this is like uh, the first incident that has happened. So, uh, for now, I'm going to play the waiting game and see what happens. Hopefully, uh, they just send me the replacement item without any issues. Hopefully, we'll just have to see what happens. And, of course, I will uh, update when I have more information on that on the situation. And even though, yeah, it was an honest mistake, I, uh, I'm still not happy about it because I was expecting my item to be here today and instead of getting the item that I uh, ordered, I got something completely different. I completely got the wrong item. So, anywho, ladies and gentlemen, and once again, I apologize for the noise. The sleep lowering guy is getting closer to my window here. Hold on, give me a moment. I need to pause here. Okay, never mind. He's not getting any closer. Okay, hold on. Yes, he is. Okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I had to pause because the guy was really close to my window and was making really, uh, and that thing was really loud. So, as I was saying, I'm going to have to play the waiting game. Hopefully my uh, hopefully they send me the replacement and hopefully they send the correct item this time Because I just honestly I'm not sure what the hell happened. Somebody wasn't paying attention when they were uh, packaging this thing uh, my item up 
So, anywho, I'm going to conclude this video for now, and I'll update whenever there's an update to the situation. So, I'll see you all on my next video, whatever it is, and whenever it is, and whatever it is. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And blah, blah, blah. don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video. Whatever it is and whatever it is. Have a good day and or night, everybody. Bye.